Hi, Sky Taylor here. Oh, just a moment, folks. What are we going to do today? We're going to teach you how to ship a painting. What's involved with this? Well, presentation is everything. You want to put together a real neat package, something your customer is going to be really happy with. Now, first of all, I hope that you saw the other videos in this kind of collection. You need to see these videos that I did before you get here. So you want to watch how to varnish a painting, how to finish a painting, and how to wire a painting. Those three are crucial to get to this point. You've got to prepare the painting before you ship it. Okay, what are we going to do here? We're going to tell you step by step how to create an awesome COA. What's a COA? That's a Certificate of Authenticity. That gives your customer confidence that the painting that you did is an original. It's a one of a kind. Now, I talk about a lot of money saving tips along the way, but those are tips in, in preparation and uh, artist materials. You never ever want to skimp on the final product. I never skimp on the canvas. I always get the best, always buy the best paints, and uh, uh, always the best quality packaging materials because presentation is everything. Other things that don't make a difference in the final product is where you want to save money. But presentation and quality is the utmost, and we never want to sacrifice that. I rather lose a little profit and give my customer a fantastic quality product than to try to skimp and lose the customer on down the road. That's the last thing you want to do. Also, you want to also see the video on how to photograph uh, the paintings too. That's an important thing. I get rave reviews all the time how how much my paintings look exactly like the photograph or the paintings actually look better. So I've never had anybody say that uh, it doesn't look like it. So you want to go back and you want to look at that video too if you need any photography tips and, and uh, creating a, a great picture for your website. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I want you to peek over my shoulder and I'm going to take you step by step on how to create a COA. That's the first step. Like I said, this is part one. There's no way I can cram all this information I'm going to give you into one video. You know, it's, I'm going to do it in parts. So let's peek over my shoulder as I show you what to do. Okay, here we are. We have a COA. Now, what's involved in the COA? Well, first of all, I got this folder. Uh, you can get them six for maybe $10 at any office supply store. You usually Office Max, Office Depot, or Staples, one of the three. And that's what we'll be referring to when I say office supply store, rather than me mention the three every single time. So, okay, first thing I did was I got a gold emblem and embossed it. And as you can see, it says, 100% 100, 100 certified original Sky Taylor, work of art. How did I do that? Well, I went to the supply, office supply store, and roughly between $35 and $40, you can buy this corporate seal, and you can print out whatever you want to print out on there. And you got to wait about 7 to 10 days for them to get it in, but it's well worth it. And we're going to use this three times in the process of our uh, in the process of our shipping so you're gonna see certain things you don't want to skimp on but you can see how this goes right here you just put it right on here and clamp down and you are embossed okay what's inside the COA let's take a look very first thing you're going to come across here is the business card. You never want to cheap out on business cards. Get really nice ones. Now I got these at Vista Print. It started out free and ended up costing me 70 bucks. <laughs> but you know what? It was worth it. And you'll see why in a minute. I, I went and got I went for the glossy cards. I have my name, uh, what I do, my phone number. Wonder why it's scratched off. I have an email and a website and one of the most current paintings that I've done. 
But wait, there's more. You flip it over, and it shows a couple examples of my work. Well, this is great. It's not only a business card, but it becomes a promotional tool also. Because when I hand it out, people can instantly see the kind of work that I have done without having to go to the website. If they don't get a chance to go, at least they have a general idea of what I've done. So that's a two-sided card. Now, you might want to include one or two in your package. That's up to you. Okay, what else do we have here? I went to the office supply store, and uh, it's a little bit cheaper than if you go to Kinko's because you can have them print this off uh, two on a sheet, so you're saving money. It's more cost-effective to do that way. What is this? This is a promo card. This uh, has my name, uh, my website, and also it has a brief uh, inspirational note saying how inspired I am to be able to paint for you. And it's just a good promo card. These are great. These are really great. Okay, what else do you need? Well, you're going to need a thank you letter. You have to thank the person for purchasing. In that letter, you will include maybe any hanging tips, how to hang the painting. You might want to add um, the care of the painting. You want to tell them to keep it out of direct sunlight and just general tips along with the thank you. And also you might want to include your website or Twitter name. You know, it's all promotion so that they'll have a chance to go on and, and see what else you do. Okay, what else do you need? You need a bio. Now, it doesn't have to be the world's best bio. Um, whatever you have, you know, I mean, maybe you didn't do any great accomplishments in your life. But maybe you did. You could always tell them how you were inspired to start painting and how painting has changed your life and um, maybe just some story so that they can read about you and feel connected. It's a connecting letter to connect. So what do you need next? Well, you're going to need a COA. Now, I bought these at the office supply store. And I got 15 for like $8 or something like that. And what's going to happen is when I do print it out, it's going to go in the little corners like here. This will go down like this. This will go like this. This will go like this. And all of this will get paper clipped to the top so it doesn't move around. And also you'll include your invoice to your customer. Okay, that about covers the general details of the COA. Now, I'm going to go print out the COA, and then I'll show you it actually printed. We'll show you how to do that, what's involved. Now, before you can print out the COA, you're going to need software. Now, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get good software. Uh, this was $20, and I bought this in 205 you might pay maybe 25 or maybe $30, but never any more than that. I, uh, I like stuff that's simple and very intuitive and will get the job done. I don't want to spend hours and hours trying to figure out how to operate something. But all the work that I've shown you so far has been done with this. I create all my ads for the, on this software. It's just amazing. Now, and also in 205, I designed George Carlin's Christmas gift with this $20 software. Okay, what I did was I made a template and I keep it in the computer in the Printmaster uh, files. So I can just pull it up at any time on the computer. I'm not going to get into the um, setting up the software because this is dated and things have changed a lot since then, but you, the general ideas are still the same. What you want to do is you want to set up a, um, a prototype in your computer that you can call on and then fill in the blanks. This is just a, like a standard that I created, and it says Certificate of Authenticity. This certifies this original one-of-a-kind masterpiece was created by the hand of Sky Taylor. And it has the title, date, medium, and size. Now I'm going to show you exactly how it came out on the printer. But the first thing you've got to remember to put in, too, is the, uh, the uh, order, the invoice. Make sure you include that in your COA. And 
here's what it looks like. Now I'll always run off a, a copy in black and white to make sure everything is all lined up before I actually print the uh, official COA because the last thing I want to do is uh, have it off. So you want to test it by printing it. And what's neat about it too is that when you go to uh, file your original invoice, you can clip this to remember that you sent an in that you send a COA with it, you know, with the original invoice. Okay, what we're, we've done now is we've done a few more embossings here. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this one right here. Let me peel this guy right off. Comes off really easy, just like that. Let's go right to the COA. To the back here. Oops. And we're going to affix this right here in the corner. Just like that. There you go. Oops, I accidentally got another one here. We don't need this guy. But there you go. And see how nice that looks now? Makes it look official. Lots of gold. Everybody loves gold. So there you have it. There's your COA, and you are all set to put it inside the painting. Now, what we're going to do in part two is we're going to show you how to box up the painting and get it ready for shipping. And we're going to include the COA with it. Okay, stay tuned for part two.